Hello everyone, Mr. Murkic here, and today I'm doing part two of how to create a Unity survival game. And I thought about it, and what I'm going to do is, before we actually get into the the more better stuff, I'm just going to work on the smaller little things that just sort of make the game better. So, like just things that just sit these little simple things that can just make a game feel better to play, and just yeah, it's just better overall. So. Before we get these little things out of the way, we don't have to worry about it later on. That's why I just do the simple things first and work our way up. So what I'm going to be showing today is a little script which basically locks the cursor. So if if I click play, and basically you can see my you can see my cursor on the screen, and but we don't want that in our game, so we're just going to turn that off and. A script where we can zoom the camera in, which I quite like that feature where you can zoom in. It's in most like games. It's, it's, a, it's just a little feature that I like, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so let's get started. In your assets folder, create a new folder, and I'm just going to call this scripts. Uh, you need to be quite. I like being quite organised when it comes to this. You want to right click, create a JavaScript, and just call it screen lot. If we open this up in Mono Develop. Taking its time. <coughs> What's it doing? Right, so what we're going to do is delete the update function. We just need to do it once, and that is when the game starts. So you just, it's literally the simplest code you could think of. Uh, all it is is screen dot lock cursor is equals to true. That is all we need. Uh, controls to save that. Come into Unity. Now if you click on your first person controller, click on main camera, and if I'm I'm just going to uh like minimize all these so we can just you just want to drag drag your script under here. And then now if you click play now you can see we've got no cursor on our screen and we can't actually end the game uh because there's no cursor you have to click escape and then obviously it comes back. So that is just a simple feature which you need in your game. Now for the zooming in feature, I've pre-wrote it sort of thing, so just to save time. But you just want to create a new feature, uh, JavaScript and call it zoom. I'll just call it zoom in. And if we open this in Mono Develop now. Uh, I've actually, ooh, where is it? Zoom in. I've created it in Notepad++, so I'm just going to take this. Now this is actually not my script entirely. Uh, I quite like this script, I used it for my game. And I was thinking I'll show it to you. I'll leave these comments here so you know what it is. I've, like basically I changed the variables so it's like a bit un more understandable and so yeah, um, if we just look, and one thing I've missed out, I just need to change this to time, not a capital T for the time, but it's okay, we just need that, I will go over this script, so basically this variable here is zoom length and it just it basically means how far we want, we can zoom in, so like once we press a button, it's going to zoom in that amount. Um, the variable default zoom, default zoom, basically means what we was at before we zoomed in, so it knows what to go back to after. And this time is basically how long, how long it takes for it to go into the zoom, like how long it takes between each zoom. And then this is just a variable to check if if we're zoomed in or not. Um, so in an update function here, we've we're checking if the Z key is being pressed, and if it's being pressed, then is zoomed. If we're not zoomed, then we're zoomed, etc. Like it's either if you are zoomed, then you're not. Like it's just checking if it's zoomed or not. And then after that, we got an if statement here, 
So if you are zoomed, if is zoomed equals true, so if you are zoomed, then what it's do it, do it. What it's basically doing is telling it the camera to zoom in to the zoom length that we set, as you can see, 20, and times it by the time, so if times in it by the time we set, which is 5, and then else, if it's not if it's not zoomed in, then go back to the default zoom. So that's basically how that script works. So we save that, and I just click on main camera again, we drag our zoom in script on, and you can actually edit in the editor if you want to, but for now I'll leave it that, and if we click play, if I press Z, as you can see, we're zoomed in. Got a nice, got a nice little zoom feature. Pretty smooth as well. If you check how smooth that zooming in and out, that's that's nice. So, yeah, that is what we're going to be adding today. That's all I'm going to be showing you for this video. I know it wasn't that long, and didn't do much, but it's just a little feature that you might want to have in your game. So if you did enjoy it, please like and comment, and I will see you next time.